one of the things I was involved with very early on, it was in the, in the 70s, um, we were actually in, a, in the midst of an uh, energy crisis, and, and they were looking at the opportunity of, um, of replacing copper windings and motors, and the state of windings, uh, with aluminum as opposed to uh, copper. But the issue was how do you um, connect to the outside world because um, anything that's aluminum, you can't just go and plug it into a regular outlet. And in fact, in those days, there were um, mobile home fires because of, uh, you know, they had such joints that were, that were uh, me mechanical in nature and they didn't, you know, and, and uh, it was just a situation that, you know, that could badly lead to heating and ultimate fire. So they really wanted to end up with a metallurgical uh, well um, or joint. And there was a fellow at the research center by the name of Bill Moffitt that was looking at a means of, of doing a, uh, a, what would be a displacement coal well of these, these joints. And it was very interesting because I knew of him when I was in grad school because he had written a book, um, materials related. Uh, so then I, had, uh, I got to the research center and, and I got to meet him face to face, which was kind of cool. Uh, and, and so I had come up with this technique of using a laser to weld copper to aluminum. And the whole secret is that if you use a, uh, any standard arc welding technique to do that, uh, you would end up with the, uh, the formation of antimetallics that would occur between copper and alu aluminum. And there's three key uh, antimetallics that will form, uh, which would cause the joint to be brittle, such that if you had two conductors, one copper and one aluminum, and you made this well, you could drop it on the floor and it would break like a pretzel. And so by um, being able to make this well very fast, which you can do with a laser, um, uh, you can't get rid of the antimetallics, but you can keep them so thin that the joint ends up being uh, ductile, okay? And that, uh, and that was the essence of the, um, in fact, that was my first patent, that was the essence of that. This, uh, the other aspect of this was uh, you have this good joint, so how do you qualify the joint? How do, you, how do you measure the resistance of two very good conductors uh, that's been joined in this fashion? Uh, Bill Moffat had figured out a way of doing that. That's how I met him, and, uh, and he showed me how uh, he was doing it. So I leveraged his knowledge and utilized that same technique so I was able to actually measure my joints to say, yes, indeed, my joints uh, had a certain quality.